In this video, we're going to cover rule-based email troubleshooting within ITSM. First, you have the RBE Council, which you can view all the, the inbound emails coming in that either the rule configuration can either reject or create based on the criteria that you create. So what you can do in this example, you can see an inbound email was, was sent in and finished. And you can actually view the processing behind the scenes by either double clicking on this table right here or going directly to the RBE message form. And you can see here the finished record, use the incident create rule, created that incident number 618 and it shows you the criteria that was passed, all the action parameters. And you see here there's another rejected record on this form previously, and you can see why it didn't pass. By opening up the activity log, you can see rejected authorization no matching people record. So typically when it's rejected right off the bat, you can see on the RBE message form why it didn't create an incident or update a work log entry, etc. Sometimes if you see that it's finished and it created a record, but then you open up the say incident management, search for that incident record, and you don't see it, sometimes what you can do to get a little bit more in-depth details is in the council itself, you can click on this record, click transactions, or go directly to the transaction form, RB transaction, and you can you know, search by subject line, email address, or just use the email unique identifier. And we'll click on transaction. And it just gives you a little more in-depth analysis of what happened. So there, there might be, if it finished here, there might be an error that gets populated on the RBE transaction form itself here. And lastly, you can look at the RBE configuration form. You can see if just the RBE um, email is enabled in general. And there's also quite a few different configurations op options listed here um, with request length. If you customize the, the, the length of incidents, problems, changes, etc., you want to update that information here. Um, you could change the prefixes of the separate applications, etc. And what you can do as well is if you see the email coming in and then you see the email show up on the RBE message form, but it's not processing, you can take a look at the escalation that is listed here. And then you, you, you may want to look at the uh, escalation log to see if it's firing every minute. And if it's not, you may want to think about separating that into a separate pool. And if things aren't still working, you can always turn on filter, API, and SQL and escalation logging to further troubleshoot. And that's how you troubleshoot RBE. Thank you.